Hello guys, welcome back to my video. Hope you all are having a nice day. Today I'll be showing you guys how to install Craft on Modern Launcher. It's really easy to do. Just follow my steps. File links will be in the description below. Make sure to watch the video till the end. Now guys, I'm on my desktop. You can open your browser now. I'm using Opera GX. In your case, it could be any browser of your choice. Now, in your browser, go to Google. Okay, you can go to Google and search RL Craft. After searching RL Craft, go to CurseForge website. Make sure it's CurseForge, not any other website. There are very fake websites too, so you can go to CurseForge. That's the only official site where RL Craft is launched. After going to CurseForge, make sure you download the server pack. Now, hit back as your file is downloading and go again to the CurseForge site where the RL Craft is. Now, we will be downloading Optifine for RL Craft as RL Craft 2.9 needs Optifine G5 to run. Okay, make sure you click on the link and hit continue and download the file on the Optifine official website. Now, just save the file on any folder you want. Here, in my case, it is downloads. After downloading both of the files, what am I gonna do is I am gonna drag them to desktop. Okay, I'm just gonna drag both of the files to desktop for you guys to show how am I gonna do everything. Here I have my files on desktop folder. As you can see, I have both the zip file and the jar file. What am I gonna do is I'm gonna right click on the zip file and extract all. Now select your destination for the file. In my case, it's desktop only. Okay, now I'm gonna extract all the files from the zip file. Now it will take some time for you guys, maybe four to five minutes. So you can wait easily for the file. After my files are extracted, what you need to do next is you need to open your Modrant app. Okay, now my files are extracted. What you need to do is open the Modrant application. Here, you need to create an instance. As you can see the plus plus icon on the left bottom side. Here, what you need to do is select your loader. Here, I am selecting Forge as Arlcraft needs Forge. And here, the game version is 1.12.2 select your version go to show advanced option okay now here you can choose your loader version now choose your loader version as 2860 it's the latest version for this forge okay now you can name your instance i am naming it as rlcraft you can just name it anything you want okay after creating the instance just click on the instance as you can see there are no mods click on the folder option here it will open the folder okay now i'm just gonna minimize the modern application after minimizing the modern application what am i gonna do is open that extracted files okay now what you need to do now is you need to choose all the files from that extracted file folder now what am i gonna do is i'm just gonna choose all the files here after choosing all the files, I'll be dropping it onto the Minecraft folder. After doing that, we are gonna close the folder. And after closing the folder, we have the main folder here. We are gonna take the Optifine and drop it into the mods folder. Now take your Optifine and easily drop it. Okay. Our steps are completed guys here. What we need to do now is close the folder and open the modern application. After doing that, you need to click on the play option and your game will run. It will take some time to load the game as it is forge loader. Guys, the game is finally opened. As you can see, it is Craft clearly. Let me just keep it on full screen. 
I'm just gonna play a game to show you guys that it's actually working okay it will take some time to load the loading is finally done it took some time to load but as you can see the game is properly running fine and it's the same RL craft that you all play on Curse Forge. That's all for this video guys. If this tutorial helped, make sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel and share this video with your family and friends. And yeah, don't forget to comment. You can contact with me on Discord or any for any problem. Server link will be in the description below.